Tapos, Filipinos are looking really to get the most comprehensive insurance protection plan. And Sun Fit and, Fit and Well is actually one of those. Because as you said a while ago, no, itong Sun Fit and Well plan na to, it's not just for coverage for critical illness, but if you don't get sick, you get the benefits of having cash upon retirement. So I would say, Jet, yes. Filipinos are becoming financially aware. Apart from that, they're taking tact active action to be prepared in the future. That's true. So um, We have a suite of health protection products that one can avail of. Siguro to answer your first question, how early should you start? Now, I think for us at Sun Life, we believe the moment you start earning money, you start already getting prepared for the future. And one of those, um, I would say, building blocks towards financial stability is life insurance and a health insurance product. Now, your second question, are there affordable uh, health protection products? The answer is also yes, because um, depending on your budget and depending on your need, we have the most basic, meaning if you get hospitalized, you get a certain benefit to the most comprehensive, which was the Sun Fit and Well uh, Advantage Plan, which I talked about a while ago. So depending on your age and your budget, a financial advisor can recommend the best plan for you. My training with APS CBN uh, would pitch hit once in a while for some shows before and there had been uh, uh, some offers. But I want to stick to what I know better, which is, I guess, uh, film acting or TV. Um, should there come a time that you know there's a uh, good uh, offer or a uh, good material to go to and I, I enjoy doing it. I guess it's just uh, uh, you know wearing a different hat, but uh, it's a it's a it's a good practice. It's a good exercise for me as well. And you're back to production as well. Yes. Um, how's that going for you? Um, uh, we just uh, posted our uh, recent film, Walang Kataris, is going to premiere on Prime Amazon on March 23, if I'm not mistaken. And we have a couple of uh, films on our slate, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been busy. Tomorrow we have uh, another uh, meeting to uh, plan for the next quarter because we already have some films lined up and I'm also doing another film which I will be uh, resuming the shoot on by next week. So dere derecho, aside from acting, I'm also producing in some of my films and also the films that Spring Films uh, and Cornerstone are producing. Mm, that's awesome. Um, and going back to, of course, Sun Life, um, have you already had like a critical uh, sort of illness and how has your insurance helped you? Uh, I'm, I'm I'm thankful to the Lord. Wala pa naman. You know, at 46, I'm still active. You know, I'm happy with the Sun Fit and Well insurance, and I, I get myself covered every year. I will always get a new uh, a new policy, and yeah, being with Sun Life uh, almost half my life, I think I'm pretty covered. <laughs> um, and we have several financial needs depending on our life stage. Back when I was single, probably I just had one or two um, to cover a certain financial need because my goal back then was to build wealth and grow my money. Now that I'm married, of course, um, I have another person depending on my income. And so I would add to my life insurance coverage and even top up my own health insurance coverage. So that's correct, Piolo. Um, uh, over our lifetime, our needs change. So one policy is never enough. So people to have three, no? One for life, meaning insurance protection, income protection, so that anything happens to you, your family will be able to live life uh, regardless of the income. The second would be a health insurance coverage because a health protection plan will ensure naman that um, you don't get into debt uh, covering for treatment. And the last would be uh, probably a financial product to help you grow your wealth or build your wealth. So that one naman for expenses or goals that are expected, meaning you plan for. And then the other two, life insurance and health protection, is for expenses that are unexpected. So I would say three is a good rule of thumb. Three is a good rule of thumb. So yes. savings and what I do is whatever I earn, I just put it in the bank primarily. And then from there, 
I set aside ten uh, percent for my tithe, and then the rest goes to savings because I try as much as possible to spend as much on things that are just you know uh, you know uh, the material things or let's say mga luho you know I reward myself with an insurance I reward myself with getting a time deposit I reward myself with getting new policies but time uh, from time to time I also reward myself with trips you know with my family and I don't um, I, I I don't spend on things na sayang lang so I try not to you know spend my money and just put it in the bank invest get protection from insurances and just just let the money work for you hindi hindi ako yung tipo na nag splurge and I always make make sure that you know I'm protected that's why I don't spend beyond my means I don't spend on things that are just really unimportant and I guess it's a it's a big factor that you don't change your lifestyle just because you earn more it's important for us to know and uh, give importance to our future and of course not just para sa sarili natin but also our family then on in life um, they actually approached me my our foundation my sister and I, my, my our foundation family foundation Hebrew foundation they wanted to donate to the foundation and then from there we had an exhibit uh, my photography exhibit that went to uh, the foundation as well because we sent kids to school and from there uh, they tapped me to be one of the first endorsers ambassadors of Sun Life and it's from there my sister also became a financial advisor my son became a, an ambassador as well so it's changed my life for the good and every year there's always a new campaign and now I'm a game show host so I don't know what's coming along next let's see let's see <laughs> relationship with Piolo has been serendipitous. I mean, as Piolo mentioned a while ago, we approached them not because of an endorsement deal, but we didn't even know that he was the man behind the foundation. It was really just an effort for Sun Life to help um, typhoon-stricken um, uh, victims at that time. And so we were pleasantly surprised when we found out that it was Piolo who was behind, behind that foundation. And so um, we started with just a few activities in support of that foundation. And as I was saying, it was serendipitous, serendipitous because at that time, um, the financial crisis hit. And we thought um, before we can even promote Sun Life, our products and our services, there was really an important need to educate Filipinos with regards to their financial needs. And in fact, it has been I would say life-changing for Sun Life as well because he had been instrumental in getting more Filipinos financially aware. And I'm sure oh, most of the yeah. media would say, you know, at that time, uh, financial products were just confined in the business pages of the newspaper or even in media programs or news programs where we talk about um, interest rates, um, returns. But Piolo made insurance and personal finance mainstream and it's not because um he's an endorser but rather he practice it practices it himself and so i would say that partnership has allowed both of us to grow not just piolo but sun life as well and it has been a wild journey so far and uh, we're very thankful to piolo for wow. that the feeling is mutual thank you miss carla right. thank you it's gonna come out on Netflix. It's an eight-episode series. The first of uh, the the first uh, Netflix uh, Filipino series uh, that Netflix actually acquired. And I jumped to Gomburza right away uh, for a special participation and playing the role of Pedro Pelaez and done shooting. And then next week, about, uh, just a few scenes that I had to do. And it's going to come out, I think, in December. And then next week, I'm going to start filming for The Ride, which I'm doing with Kali Cherry. It's a suspense uh, crime thrill thriller. And it's going to come out sometime this year as well. And then I'm jumping on to another uh, 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 show, which is a musical, uh, Ibarra, which is going to come out in June. Yeah. So I'll be busy with that and shortly after that I'm touring in July and then there's another film I'm doing when I get back in August or September. So it's a pretty uh, book year. And You're making busy an understatement, huh? <laughs>
well, you know, blessings keep coming in. So, you know, you just uh, take on the challenge and just, you know, I, I always get inspired when I, you know, go to an uncharted territory and challenge myself to, you know, uh, come up, come up with something that I've not, I've not done before. So I guess bottom line is to just really stay active, you know, to just keep on doing what you're doing and doing what you know best. You know. Thanks, Vijay. Thanks, yeah. I uh, give importance to sleep. I give importance to positivity. You know, keeping your mind free uh, of any negative uh, elements around you and being uh, motivated by, you know, the things that come your way with work. And I reward myself with, you know, the food I eat. And of course, uh, a good balance of things. You know, hindi naman pwedeng straight ka lang dito kasi magkakaroon ng point na mabiburn out ka, di ba? So I always make it a point to balance it out by, you know, uh, sleeping right, eating right, eating healthy, and also exercise. I, I, I train every day. I want to be uh, prepared for anything that comes my way, especially, you know, like I'm doing a race. So for, for you to be able to finish that race and finish well, you got to be prepared for that. And I guess it's important to, you know, uh, give value to your own being especially nowadays that there are so many things happening around us with all the chaos, you know. Uh, in the midst of all the sufferings, it's important for us to be, you know, that light that can uh, inspire people and just, you know, stay positive para hindi mabigat yung pakiramdam. Optimist. Like si Ms. Carla, she's a walking sun life information. Anything you have to know, you can just ask her. That's why we also have financial advisors. It's important to have that kind of relationship, a personal relationship, that's so that you can explain to your clients or, uh, you know, uh, people who are interested to get uh, the kind of information that they need to know because back in the day, hindi naman natin to mga to, diba? So, now we made it more personal. That's why we have the financial advisors that can attend to you personally and uh, just explain everything so that you will know it better or explain it to you better. Um, what can you add to that, Ms. Carla? Um, siguro, I would say it's a matter of um, perspective. Like Piolo mentioned a while ago, um, being financially disciplined takes a while so that behavior needs to be nurtured I would say so we were lucky because um, Piolo himself is financially disciplined I mean he had that perspective at the onset and so he had that ready um, mindset to when he talks to a financial advisor to cheat you know that I, I want to grow my money, I want to protect my income, I want to be able to afford things and grow my wealth for uh, for my son and my loved ones. And so I would say it's really a matter of um, showing Filipinos the value of insurance, why you need it, why it's crucial to have it, especially if you're... Um, uh, especially if you have, I would say, um, predisposed to certain illnesses. Because just one illness, um, it can plunge a family into poverty. And so this is what, this is what we advocate. Um, that's why if you noticed, uh, Sun Life is very big on financial education. Because we also, um, uh, we're also um, cognizant of the fact that not many Filipinos really appreciate no, uh, the benefits of having life insurance and health insurance. And so this is why we need you, the media, to become our allies in getting more Filipinos educated on why it is important to be prepared. And also, you know, using ambassadors like us to be able to send a message across better. <laughs> That's true, yes, because uh, Filipinos, we love Piolo. <laughs> and so it helps because uh, Piolo is also a walking billboard of sunlight. <laughs> of course, uh, in our, okay, I'll, I'll, um, I'll message it first. Why do we advocate people to get insurance early? The reason for that is the premiums are lower or more affordable when you're younger. Now, it doesn't mean that you cannot be covered with insurance already when you're in your mid-30s. What we're saying is it's never too late to start preparing for the future. And so, um, even those, we have policy owners who started even um, at their 50s, at their 60s. Maybe they get it for their loved ones. Maybe they use it to prepare for retirement. And so... There's really not an optimal age to get it. So what we're saying is, 
it's never too late to start. All right. How I started and how I uh, envisioned, you know, my career, uh, that it's work. And, you know, you work for the money, you work for your passion, and you have to set aside a certain part of your income, uh, not just for yourself, but for your family and your family's future. And it's in really important for us to uh, give extra care to ourselves, our needs, our well-being, so that we'll be able to enjoy the fruits of our hard work. And yeah, just 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 give importance to life. I mean, and enjoy enjoy your life, you know, uh, when you can with your loved ones, and be practical about things, you know. Uh, these are all practical things, you know. Eating healthy, living right, having the right the right mindset, and uh, giving importance to your mental health, and uh, don't splurge on things you don't really need, and. Be, be, be wise, be wise with your earnings, be wise with your income, and always set aside some, some, something for yourself and your family for the future. So these are the things that I live by. All right. Financially, and how did you uh, survive it? Also, you're a, a film producer, so how do you account for losses? How do you cope with losses? Thank you. Uh, mas, thank you, Marinel. Nice to see you. Mas maraming losses sa production, so hindi ko lang kung sa pinaso. <laughs> Pero personally, sa career ko, uh, I'm thankful, I'm grateful that uh, through the years, I never had to uh, consider uh, quitting just because, you know, my movie didn't become a hit or because, you know, I'm the kind of person that is very practical. I don't buy things that I cannot afford. So even if I have the money, I make sure that I save up first before I get something so that I know wala akong babayarang utang. So even if there's nothing uh, uh, coming or uh, uh, if I'm not earning anything, I don't have to worry about having to pay my loans because hindi ako nang utang nang hindi ko kayang bayaran. So through the years, you know, that's one of the reasons why I stay afloat is because I'm always practical. But with the production, it's really hard. How am I able to cope with that? Um, yeah. I guess just like the wheel of life, you'll never know, you know. Uh, but nowadays, uh, uh, it's more calculated risk because of the emergence of the new platforms. So we're we're happy because we're back on track. But there were there were years that we had to really take a back seat and just assess for ourselves if, if, if what we were doing was still okay. It was still feasible, but of course there were still some people or investors that trusted us. So we managed to, you know, uh, survive. And just the same, I guess, uh, many risks in terms of producing. But uh, I guess the important is your passion and knowing that there are people who believe in your product. So uh, just keep on going, and you'll never know when you can hit the jackpot, just like what we had with Kita Kita. So now we, because of that, you know, uh, our outfit is able to thrive and now we have more films lined up. So I guess learning there is to uh, not just be practical, but to also know, you know, what you're getting yourself into and knowing that uh, there's some benefits to it, you know, not just monetary, but also for, for everyone else para hindi naman lahat lugi. So, yeah. so take risks, pero live within your means. Can Definitely. You? Yeah. Alam mo na i-word yan, Marinelle, ikaw na yan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marinelle. Yes. Years from now, do you still see yourself working? Wow. Yeah, of course. Uh, I was with Tito Dante Rivero uh, the other day. He's uh, playing Gomez uh, in Gumburza, and he's 77 years old. I remember asking Tito Boy at De Leon and Tito Sandy back in uh, the day when we were doing a sh show together. I said, because at that time I was... Uh, contemplating on not just leaving but also try try to diversify and do other things um, but they said you know why would you quit if you enjoy what you're doing and you need your passion today so you know I was kind of you know uh, awestruck by that you know being in the business for uh, decades and they still have the same passion the same dedication and energy and then uh, fast forwarding to Tito Dante the other day I said Tito Dante the, the last my, one of my first work was with him 25 years ago, or actually more than 25 years ago in Esperanza. And this is Sandaling Kailangan Moko, which was in 1998. And now we got to work again together. And I said, why do you still do what you do? 
because you know it keeps you active you know not just mentally but physically so in uh, 14 years down the road down down the road you know I thought I was going to retire at 40 because I'm a very uh, simple person knowing that I'm already settled you know thanks to Sun Life I don't have to worry about my future because I'm covered and I'm protected even my health uh, but I don't want to think that far but the there are offers if you know there's still room for me to be in this business to grow and practice what I do best uh, then I guess I'd, I'd, I'd stay on you know but on the side of course I'm doing other things other businesses just to uh, keep me busy as if in the Bible busy the <laughs> but uh, yeah I guess you know as long as there are good roles to take on and there are good uh, concepts that we can uh, develop yeah I, I guess I'll stay on malay mo maging game show host din ako diba so yun na lang kulang papapigil show host yung mga gusto sa tingin mo gusto mo pang magawa ayan na lang I want us to break out uh, internationally in terms of our film output yung uh, yung Filipino films na mag break out globally so that's one of my goals is for us to be able to champion our content to a bigger market, the international market, because I think that's what we lack, that's what we're missing. So we're trying to partner with different organizations to help us get the better incentive or better budget for our films so that we can produce it better, so that we can be proud of what we can uh, uh, show to the other markets. But personally, um, <sighs> it up. <laughs> may hirap pagkompleto ko na. <laughs> Masaya naman ako eh. Wala naman akong iniisip na kung mayroon may kulang ba. Siguro pag dumating, ito pala yung kulang sa buhay ko. Wow! <laughs> Baka malam ako pag dumating na lang. But I'm just really happy, Janet, you know. <laughs> I'm just really happy. I'm content. You can say that, you know, I'm fulfilled with my life, with my walk, and my health. So there's nothing else I can ask for but for peace and, you know, for everyone to stay healthy and uh, yun, to just be an, a good encouragement to other people, you know, to just protect your testimony and just uh, inspire more people and just uh, live a good life. Uh, there are things that I would want to ask for, I guess, yung, you know, I get to spend more years with my family, especially my mom, and yun lang. And my son, of course. <laughs>